we have an equation and what we have to do is we have to find uh, we have to show this expression and what they're saying that this particular quadratic equation has two distinct real solutions so what does that basically mean first of all remember a quadratic equation looks like this ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero that's what a quadratic equation looks like so this in order to make it look like an actual quadratic equation what we have to do we have to send the two to the other side so this would be kx squared plus 4x plus k minus 2 equals to 0 so the coefficient of x squared is called a so here that is k the coefficient of x is called b so here that is 4 and the one that has no variable x at all the constant that is called the constant which is k minus 2 so what we have over here is we have this is a this is b and this thing k minus 2 is c so that's what a quadratic equation is all about now when we find the unknown value of x that is known as the root or solution of the quadratic equation now that can be found in a variety of ways one of the way is the quadratic formula and that goes on like this the root of the solution x equals to minus b plus minus root over b squared minus 4ac divided by twice a so that's the root or the solution so this is the solution of the quadratic equation and what we have to do over here is they have mentioned the roots are two distinct real solutions or roots so two distinct so what this means is that we have to focus only over here we don't have to actually do the find the solution what that is it doesn't matter we just have to find what the value of this b square minus 4 ac is this thing is known as the discriminant and if you have two distinct real solution what that basically means is that b squared minus 4 ac is greater than zero that's it we don't have to solve anything we just have to check uh, whether this is true or not since it is given over here we don't even have to check we can assume this is true okay so if we write for the equation uh, kx squared plus 4x plus k minus 2 equals to 0 this is the quadratic equation so it is given we know that b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 because the roots are uh, real and distinct that means this thing the discriminant is greater than 0 and we can put the value so b means coefficient of 4 so 4 squared minus 4 a is the coefficient of x squared which is k and c is the constant k minus 2 so greater than 0 so this is going to be 16 minus 4k into k is 4k squared then 4k into 2 minus 2 minus minus plus f minus 4k into minus 2 is 8k greater than 0 so if we arrange this minus 4k squared plus 8k plus 16 greater than 0 if we divide it by 2 this would be minus 2k squared plus 4k plus 8 greater than 0 if we again divide it by 2 this would be minus k squared plus 2k plus 4 greater than 0 now in order to prove this expression is true so in order to prove this particular expression is true what we have to do is we have to multiply by negative so this would be k squared minus twice k minus 4 and this greater than inequality sign will be reversed because when you multiply minus with inequality greater than it becomes less than that's how it works so we have shown this so that's it done now question number b question number b asks for we have to solve this inequality now I want you to think of question number B as a completely different question approaches differently that is that that way you will be able to understand it better so question number B is just solve this inequality 
k squared minus 2k minus 4 less than 0. We have to solve this inequality and that is question number B. So how do you solve inequalities? Well, if you can factorize an inequality, so if you have an inequality and in the form of x minus alpha and x minus beta and you have less than 0, so what you have to do, find the critical values. So the critical values would be, uh, if you write this, if it were equal to something so if it was x minus alpha x minus beta equal to 0 then the critical values would be x equals to alpha or x equals to beta these are none of the critical values so think of a parabola so one is alpha the other one is beta and what we can do think of it as less than means this region so less than means this region so once the critical values are found we can uh, directly write that x is between these two so x is between alpha to beta so that is the idea so remember so this is what we are talking about this particular rule is what we are going to follow so let's continue so the problem is here we cannot do middle term break it's obvious so four 2 to the 4, we cannot get 2. 4 1 the 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, we cannot get 2. So for finding the critical values, we have to find using the quadratic formula. So we can write 4 k square minus 2k minus 4 equals to 0. We are finding the critical values. We can write k equals to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 a c which is minus 4 divided by twice a so this turns out to be 2 plus minus root over minus 2 square is 4 minus minus plus which is 16 divided by 2 it turns out to be 2 plus minus square root of 20 divided by 2 now if we simplify this it would be 2 by 2 plus minus now square root of 20 is 4 into 5 so square root of uh, 4 is 2 so this is 2 square root of 5 by 2 so this 2 and this 2 cancel this is 1 this 2 and this 2 cancels so this is 1 plus minus square root of 5 now we have the two critical values so let me write down the critical value over here so 1 is 1 minus square root of 5 and the other is 1 plus square root of 5. So the answer is going to be in inequality format x is between since this is the region. So x is between 1 minus square root of 5 and 1 plus square root of 5.